G'day mate, 40 here, so I'm perching on the edge of a cliff, uh, juggling two phones, uh, trying to dial up the right content. Here we go, sex researcher Michael Bailey talking to Alex Kashuta. I mean, it's important even in the implications of protecting my children and, you know, the mother in your example's children. So, yeah, it's, it's necessary. So, like I said, I don't think everyone should be on this beat every day if possible. <laughs> Thank you. Unlike some of the other issues we've been discussing, there is really no group who's advocating that pedophiles should be able to act on their desires, except for a small group of pedophiles themselves. Sure, you can find them uh, and say there's nothing wrong with that. And so, but I don't think that's even a slippery slope. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, I've, uh, like myself and probably most of the people listening to this have not had enough uh, contact with uh, with the advocacy and exactly happy subjects. Uh, but I think... The Looking forward to this. Uh, first, just a brief introduction. When I was in college, uh, my roommate was a philosophy major, Arnie, and... So this is sex researcher Michael Bailey here talking about his four favorite subversive thinkers to recommend. He was very influential on my thinking. I often wanted to kill him. And it's because he was very good at challenging me, challenge, challenging my uh, weak supposition. And that's, that makes people mad. And I think that that's a lot of what's going on in culture wars now is people are getting mad because people are challenging them to think. And I think that philosophers, when they are doing the best kind of philosophy, where they actually are bothering to learn about a topic and think hard about it, they can be very useful. So I'm going to recommend, and I, this is cheating, but four different philosophers, and I'll do it quickly. First is a guy named Michael Humer, who has a substack called Fake News, N-O-E-U-S. A recent essay he wrote that I thought was really good. It's called Elon Musk is Better Than You, <laughs> provocative title. Uh, another one, can tre teaching the truth be racist? Also good. Uh, the Croatian philosopher Nevin Sesordic, he is an older philosopher, I think he might be emeritus now, but he wrote a fantastic book called Making Sense of Heritability about the IQ, genetics, literature, and I thought he did a great job dealing with a lot of obfuscation that both philosophers and academic experts engage in to have people avoid this topic. So I recommend his book. There's a young philosopher, I think he's really smart, named Nathan Kofnes, who uh, is currently at Cambridge, and we're hoping that he manages to have a career despite many attempts to cancel him. Uh, and he's uh, written about how we should study the most controversial topics, and that's totally what I support. And finally, there's a guy named Alex Byrne, B-Y-R-N-E, at MIT. Alex's uh, work has mostly been of the technical philosophy genre and I don't read much technical philosophy, really. But I heard rumors that he's writing a book on gender and transgender. And I've heard rumors that it's excellent and very readable and really going to be like the best treatment of this domain. So that's it. Excellent. Yeah, I, I hadn't heard of three of these. Uh, Nathan Kaufness I want to have on the show hopefully soon. I'm, uh, I'm aware of his work. Yeah, he's, he's, he's great. Um, yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I'm glad that you had so many good recommendations and so much insight onto, into things that um, we, we either tend to avoid or maybe we look at uh, too intensely recently, <laughs> like the transsexual. Okay, that's uh, Michael Bailey talking to Alex Kashuta, recommending several thinkers. One of them, young Nathan Kofnes, who is a professor at Cambridge University and so far resisting all attempts to cancel him.